Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be picking some books to read for November. The problem is, I don't know exactly which ones those are going to be yet. I do know one for sure that I'm going to be reading. I'll get to that uh, when we go pick some books. So I thought today I'm just going to show you the books that I'm thinking about, the books that are left, okay? So I've already removed my October reads and my December reads because I already know what I'm reading in December. It is the five books that I own that were published this year in 2022. So I uh, went ahead and just combined what I had left. And we're basically just going to be picking from one shelf, maybe, maybe two, one and a half, something like that. So why is this so difficult for me this time? Well, once I get through with my December reads, starting next year, I'm going to be reading nothing but Stephen King. And what I don't get to in November is going to have to wait for quite a long time. So I'm going to be picking out the books that cannot wait over a year to be read. So yes, that means whatever I don't read in November and December will have, that's already on my shelves, that is, is going to have to wait until I get through with Stephen King. And we all know he's got quite a catalog to get through, okay? So it's so difficult to narrow down, you know, just to pick five books for November from this little stack here. The top shelf is nothing but Blu-rays, so that's out. The second shelf is nothing but vintage YA books, so like Fear Street and Christopher Pike and all that. I'm not going to go through and pick any of those. The third shelf, we'll kind of take a look. Maybe there's something that'll catch my eye. Uh, but that is the shelf of like mass market paperbacks and maybe some paperbacks from hell. Uh, I'm not sure. I've never even read that. So I don't know if those count or not. But they were, there are some that were published in the 80s. So I'm counting them. So the fourth shelf is the main shelf that we're going to be picking from. And the bottom shelf has four hardbacks that are contenders as well. So I will take you over there. We will peruse the shelves and we'll see what I come up with. I, like I said, I know for sure of one that I want to read, possibly two. So that leaves me with three other books that I need to pick. And these are books that can't wait any longer to be read. So let's go over and take a look. Okay, so I turned on the overhead light so we can get a better view. Like I said, up here are nothing but Blu-rays. And then we have lots of Fear Street. I'm not going to be picking any of those. And so here are the uh, mass market paperbacks and some Fear Street. Some paperbacks from hell, possibly. All of these, well, they're not all from the 80s, but I'm not sure I'm going to be picking any of these titles. So down here are the main ones I'm going to be picking from. And below that, we have some DVDs, some Simpsons. Over here are some big collections. I'm not going to be picking any of those. And so we have four down here. And the rest are on this shelf. So I need to pick five books for November. Let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and pick the one that I'm definitely going to read. That's going to be My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Everybody loves this story. Well, just about everybody. And this is one that definitely cannot wait a year, a year and a half to be read. So I am definitely going to be reading this in November. Let's go down here and see about these titles. So we have Play Dead, Dracula, the sequels, The Exorcist, and Son of Rosemary. Uh, I'm not going to read Son of Rosemary until I read Rosemary's Baby. Um, the only contender down here might be The Exorcist. By William Peter Blatty. So that's a maybe. I would definitely like to read that now versus later. So let's see what else we got here. What else can we pick from? We have Horror Store, Unbury Carol, Goblin, Home Before Dark, World War Z, when Things Get Dark, A People's History of the Vampire Uprising, Whisper Down the Lane, The Residence, Fractured Tide, Jaws, 
The Ballad of Black Tom. That, I recently bought this one. <clears throat> I've heard nothing but great things about it. I think it's a cosmic horror. And it's very short, it's a novella. I think I'm gonna have to pick this one. It's, a, it's one I'm very curious about and it's very short, like I said. So I think I'm gonna pick that one. So that's a contender as well. Let's just put that in the Exorcist up here, along with my best friend's Exorcism. So there's possibilities. Okay, so next we have the Island of Dr. Moreau. So this is a possibility as well, because I'll give you a spoiler for December. I do have The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, and I would like to read The Island of Dr. Moreau before I read that. So that's a contender as well. So now we have Warm Bodies, The Last Final Girl, The Ghost Tree, Ready Player One, Snowman, The Chain, Baby Teeth, Legion, When the Sky Fell on Splendor, Friends and Other Liars, the Hollow Places, 14 Ways to Die, Ring, Lovecraft Country, Pen Pal, 12 Nights at Rotter House. Um, this might be a good contender as well. This is another one that I recently just purchased about a month or so ago, and I've heard great things about it. I feel like I'm very behind the times on this one. Well, all of these, honestly. But it's a haunted house story. I would have liked to have read this for October, but yeah, that's a contender as well. Pen Pal, that would be a good one too. Heard nothing but great things about that. It's short. Let's put that up at the top as well. Oh man, so many books I need to read. Uh, but the question is, what cannot wait? I mean, really, is this a good TBR? Pen pal? Well, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Well, I can always pick several and see what I get to, right? Does anybody have a problem with that? I wouldn't think so. So, Lovecraft Country, The Ring. I'm thinking none of these are really jumping out at me. Jaws and Fracture Tide, I would have to read those in the summer sometime. Some summer. Um, Whisper Down the Lane. I really would like to read that one. By Clay McLeod Chapman. I don't know how you say that middle name. McLeod. A lot of people say it differently. That's a contender. I would really like to read that one. When Things Get Dark, that's a collection of short stories. Mm -hmm. Horror Store, not in a big hurry to get to that. Before Dark, World War Z would be really cool to read too. I think these seven are the top contenders. Maybe I will just include all seven in the TBR and see what I can get through. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to have seven books on my November TBR. Whether I get to them all or not is, it's okay if I don't. I'm going to get through as many as possible. What I don't get through will just go back on the shelves and these shelves next year will be cleared off and it will be nothing but Stephen King. And I can't wait for that journey. But the rest of these books will just have to wait to a later time. Just to recap real quick, I have Pen Pal by Dathan Arbach. This is about a guy who goes back to his hometown in order to like, Uncover some kind of mystery from his childhood. That's all I really know about that one. Everybody says it's really freaking good. Uh, then we have 12 Nights at Rotter House by J.W. Oker. All I know about this one is a couple of guys go to this haunted house and they initially plan to spend 13 nights at Rotter House, but apparently they only make it to 12. Ooh. <laughs> Can't wait to see what that one's about. And then next I'm going to be reading The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. This is about a guy who ends up stranded on an island where a mad scientist has 
created some kind of human-animal hybrids. It's very much a classic. Uh, it's kind of small print, so I'm sure this is going to be taking me a lot longer than it should to read. Uh, then we have The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Lavelle. Um, and I really don't want to know anything about this one. I want to go into this one blind. All I know is it's cosmic horror. So that's really great. Then we have The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. I'm really kind of nervous to read this one. Um, the Exorcist movie, it's not my favorite horror movie. It's very disturbing. Uh, I've heard the book is a whole lot better, but some people prefer the movie. So we'll see what I think about that. This is about a girl who becomes possessed by the devil and a couple of priests have to exercise her. <laughs> There's that. And then along those lines, we have My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. This is another possession story set in the 80s about two friends and one of them becomes possessed. And everybody seems to love it. I really can't wait. That's going to be my first read. I'm definitely going to get to that one in November. And then the last contender here is Whisper Down the Lane by Clay McLeod Chapman. This is set in the 80s also, I believe. And uh, I think it's set during the Satanic Panic of the 80s. Don't really know anything else about it. And this is another one I would rather go into kind of blind. So that is the last contender for November. So what are your reading plans for November? Have you read The Exorcist or My Best Friend's Exorcism? Or Twelve Nights at Rotter House? I would love to know what you thought about any of those, any of these that have read if you think i should have picked another one on my shelves let me know that as well maybe um maybe i'll trade some out we'll see how it goes i'm trying to just let november be kind of more relaxed i kind of feel like at this point i'm just trying to get through all the books just get to the next one just get to the next one and i'm not taking the time to just enjoy the book in front of me because i'm thinking well what's next i need to quit doing that and just enjoy reading the story that is in front of me and not worrying about completing the whole TBR. It's okay that I don't. It's okay that you don't. Even just reading one book a month is fine. At least you're reading, right? But when you have a booktube channel, it becomes more of, oh, I have to read at least four or five books to... <laughs> to make a video. So that's it. Those are all the books I'm planning on reading in November. Like I said, if I don't get to some of them, that's fine. They will go into a box and be read at a later time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, morning, night, weekend, weekday, whenever you are watching this. Have a great one and I'll see you in the next one.